to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. And of course, welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see. And if so, be part of this journey with us by hitting that subscription button, which is free, and the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads that I come up with. I want to thank every single one of you for your thumbs up, your comments, your suggestions, opinions, sharing, tagging me. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I also have a Facebook group, private group, um, that you can be part of as a member, as long as you have a profile uh, picture or profile period, and you will be approved. Um, there's a lot of scammers and a lot of fraud going on, especially with links that says bit or cut. And these frauds and scammers are all over the crochet groups now. So be careful. Don't open those links up. And for that reason, my group is private. I also have Instagram and uh, TikTok, uh, Facebook crochet page, also all in the same name, Crochet Art Tutorials by Maggie Lopez. You can find me on all social medias with the same name and same picture as on here uh, for the YouTube. Um, thank you so much for the women that have come through to help other women in need, either donating thread or donating money. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, so we are going to get started normally i use a 3.5 3 or 275 hook a little one to cut a uh, two tuck in little ends and um, of course a pair of scissors please don't forget to give a thumbs up always on the video not just on my channel but any other creator that you're involved with it's extremely important for us creators we cannot keep going on and spend so many hours and so much money on cameras on lighting on thread on hooks and so on you know how it is without us being recognized by youtube so please make an effort on that we really do appreciate you let's get started everyone thank you so much again Okay, everyone, so we're going to, um, my light keeps flicking here. It's been really bad weather, and I've been sick. That's why I haven't put out too many videos either. So hopefully I can continue on just getting over a bad cold change of climate. One day it's very hot, next day it's just like cold raining and horrible. But that's part of the tropical island, right? Um, okay, so... I had, uh, before I got sick a few days ago or a week ago or something like that, I had done these owls, uh, kitchen towel hanger and beautiful decoration just, you know, for decoration purpose, of course, you know, you're not going to put a heavy towel on here. Um, so I'm going to do today a strawberry, uh, because it was a special request from my mommy so, um, and these are going to go to her, of course. And so I'm going to do the strawberry also, which I'm going to use this red. Can't remember the color, the number of the color though. And I'm going to use this green. So, you know, my uh, threads go by number and not my name. So this is number 23, this green, they're 100 grams. Uh, equivalent of 300, 325, depending Um in yards so if you're interested on these threads because some of you ask me if i sell them i did not sell them but there's so much request on these threads uh they're 12 dollars a ball minimum of six balls to order so you could always email me you can message me through instagram or if you have tiktok or follow me on my uh, crochet page on facebook or my crochet private group if you have a profile you're more than welcome to join in to the rest of my beauties there Okay, so these are 4%, uh, 4 ply, 100% cotton thread. My God, I'm still like not feeling that well, right? Um, so I bought this at my dollar store, which you can probably find it at yours or your Dollar Tree. These are 8 centimeters just to hang your towel. And these ones are 2.5, so you can do the 2 or 3. It doesn't matter if you can't find 2.5. I'm going to be using a 2.75 hook, pair of scissors, of course, and a small one to tuck in loose ends. Okay, so let's get started, everyone. Thank you so much for being here with me. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. It helps to circulate the video worldwide and get more recognition for our beautiful tutorials. Okay, thank you, everyone. 
So I'm just going to grab my little small ring and there is not necessarily a count for this, okay? Um, so I'm gonna do first my slip stitch knot. That's important, right? Get it started. There's not a specific count for this. You just need to fill out the ring and make sure that there is no space in between showing the, the, the ring, right? So just fill it in until you think you're comfortable with it, with singles, right? And, and then once we fill it, I will come back to you and we'll continue from there. So just singles all the way around. Try to hide this little leftover thread because sometimes it makes it easier on us not to come back and have to deal with it. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I pretty much filled in my little ring. Like I said, there is no count. You just push it tight, nice, and just keep going until you think it's tight enough. But you don't want to overcrowd it either. So I'm coming on my first single and slip stitch. Okay. I'm going to come into the next stitch and I'm going to use front loop only. Okay, so only using, sometimes I need a smaller one to get me started. So I'll just use this little small hook just to get my first stitch in there. Okay, so front loops only. So we have these two loops here, right? We're going to use the front one, the one towards you. I'm going to do one, two, three chain. That's my first double crochet. I'm going to crochet eight double crochets, one per space, using front loops only. So only the one facing you. Okay. And then I'll come back to you after my eight double crochet. I've done my eight double crochet, the first one, the three chain, my first double crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Now we're going to grab on the same one that we did this last one. We did the front loop. I'm going to do another double crochet on the same one, but back loop. Okay. So the same one that we used front loop, we're using back loop for another double crochet. We're going to turn. And now we're going to do those eight double crochets. If you mend it, you can see it pretty well using that back loop. So I have my first. Now, if you need to use a smaller hook to get yourself through, then go ahead. If you're okay, then, then just continue. So we're, we're doing that same eight double crochets using the back loop now, filling that back loop in. So I have two, four, six, seven, and my very last one. And eight. So now we did front and back loops. I'm going to come in my first three chain there that we started on the other side on the third chain up. And I'm going to do a slip stitch. So pretty much this is what it's supposed to look like, right? It's going to be working on the strawberry in here, right? Okay, everyone. So after closing with slip stitch, I'm going to come back in, grabbing both loops and doing a single two chains. My first type of crochet back into the same space, same stitch, another double crochet. So I'm doing two in the same stitch. Next, again, two in the same stitch. So we're going to do this all the way around. Two double crochets in the same stitch. Next space, two double crochets. Next space, two double crochets. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. 
Okay, so I've done my two double crochets per stitch. I'm going to come in my second chain here from where I started with a slip stitch. So it looks like that. Now I'm going to come back in again and do a single. This is how I start my double crochet and two chain. In the same space, another double crochet. Two chain space. I'm going to skip a double crochet and I'm coming into the next one and doing two double crochets in the same space. Two chain, skip a space into the next one and we're going to do this all the way around and then I'm cutting my thread and I'm going to come in with the red. Skip a space and come in again two double crochets in the same space. Okay, we're going to do that all the way around. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so now I'm going to come in with my red and I'm going to come in on the side exactly where I have the three chains on that space before the three chains or actually the one right after, sorry. So I have the three chains going up when I started this row. So on this little block here, I'm going to do a single Try to hide my thread at the same time. Two chain. I'm going to create, this is my first double crochet. I'm going to create two more double crochets. So I'm going to have a group of three. One chain into the next space. Three double crochets. So I'm going to do um, seven groups. Okay, everyone. So I've been doing my groups of three double crochet one chain and I'm going to do this all the way around. I'm probably going to do three to four rows just to get a little bit of length on this strawberry because if I start decreasing um, right after this row, normally that's what I would have done if I was using your thicker thread, but um, with thicker thread it would have been bigger strawberry, right? But because my thread is not that thick um, it's not that thin either, but I want the strawberry to be a little bit longer, okay? So, um, I'm going to continue to do my groups for about three or four rows. You could always advance the video and see how many rows I have created. So, very simple. Just keep going around one chain space and just create those groups. one per each uh, space here of the two chain, one chain space, and then come on the second uh, chain, well, in my case from the one I started with a single two chain. I'm going to do the walk, I call it the walk into the next space, mm -hmm. single two chain, and start creating my groups again. So very simple, not complicated. One chain space, and create again, your three double crochets. So I'm going to do, like I said, probably three or four rows. I'll come back to you at the end and you could always advance and see how big or how many rows I've done because then afterwards this is going to fold like this. But it's only going to start folding once we start decreasing. And I don't want to decrease yet because the strawberry will be too small for my liking. Okay. Okay, you guys. So... I've done one, two, three, four rows. Started even my fifth row, but we'll get there. So you bend it flat and you should come to the chains here on both sides. I'm going to put a marker on this chain. Make sure that it's flat and straight so you get the right We'll do the count together anyway, but you don't want it to be twisted. You want to make sure that it's properly in, right? So if I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this side. So what are we going to do? We're going to start to decrease. So we do the normal walk as we've been doing. I'm going to come in, 
create my groups, my three double crochet groups, one chain, continue. just before the marker, the last one before the marker. So basically we have one, two, three, four, five. On our way back, when we go around, we'll complete six and seven. We're decreasing. We started with eight and now we'll have seven. So what are we gonna do? We're going to do one chain. We're going to skip where this marker is directly into the next space. We need to start decreasing and have this pattern folding, right? And we're going to create the eight, uh, seven groups on this side also, okay? So far, I have, after we've skipped that space of the marker, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we have seven in one side and seven on the other. One chain. We know we need to skip where the marker is and complete the rest of the seven on the other side where we've started. Right now, something keeps banging here, and I don't know what it is. Oh, my goodness! I'm gonna do one chain, I'm going to come in and close it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six and seven before the marker. So we have seven on one side. Okay. And seven on the other. We're gonna keep decreasing. So we're gonna do the walk with the slip stitch. Where we've jumped that one space, we're always going to jump now to the end until we have one group left on both sides. This is how we're going to decrease and create the length of our pattern and the shape of the uh, strawberry, okay? So, very simple. Where you have your marker, we have to decrease. That means we're jumping till we have one group left. So on this row, we should have only six groups now. So we have four. When I come back, I have two more plays to fill, right? We're going to jump, still do that one chain, and jump into, skip this one, into the next one and create our group of uh, three double crochet. So we're going to have six groups on this side also. Next row, five groups. Next row, four groups. Until we have one group left, always skipping those two spaces on each side, here and here.
So I arrive where the marker is. So we know we need to skip there too. Jump into the next one. And complete your other two groups to have the six on this side. Another thing you could do if you don't want to do the um, walk, you could just do that half double crochet right into it. And then you can go one, two, and three. That's another trick to not doing the walk into the next block. And again, one chain. Now, of course, by doing it this way, you know you're backing up. Uh, instead of forwarding, you're backing up. So into your, your chains, right? If you don't want to keep having like that mark of uh, doing your slip stitch walking, you know, through it. So we know this is where the marker is. Again, skip. And continue to do your groups on this side. I'm going to continue mine, so it's basically just skipping both sides there. I'll show you in a second. Okay, so as you can see, the shape of the strawberry is coming down. So always skipping here and always skipping here until we have one group left. And then I'll come back to you when I do one group and then when it's to complete the last one on the other side, I'll come back to you because we need to add the ringlet in, okay? So you can always fast forward the video too and see what's going on. And you should always watch before you create anything anyway, all right? Mistakes can be done, changes can be made. Okay, so now we're always decreasing. We started with eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'll meet you back at one. Okay, everyone, so I'm down to my last group. I've done my last, my first three double crochets here. I'm going to do one chain. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to create my last three on this side. And then I'm going to come on that second. Um, single uh, stitch um, so I did a single two chain second chain sorry I couldn't even think of the word oh my gracious okay so I've closed in so now we have them both closed now what I'm going to do I'm going to start doing singles inside of this ring all the way around the same way until I get to this side here now make sure you keep tightening up those singles. If you have like a metal one like this, um, you can leave it in the metal and not do any singles. Just stitch it in if you'd like. I'm going to cover it all. And you could always go to your Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, and they have these ringlets in hard plastic. I'm sure it's like the little one that I've used in different sizes. Um, they don't have them here in the island, so fortunately for me, they had this in this metal, which works fine for me as long as I have that size for it. Okay, so I'm going to continue on until I come to the end here. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of my ring. Okay, everyone, so I'm pretty much reached the end. I think I filled in pretty much a lot. We don't want to overdo it and overcrowd the stitches either. So I'm just going to come in where I have the other side of the group.
Now we want to make sure that we tuck in properly that string so nothing comes apart. I'm just going to pull it one more time through here. Of course, I never use a proper hook for it, right? Very simple to create, but yet a beautiful little decoration. Making a knot here just to make sure that nothing comes apart. I'm going to try to hide it in between. I want to make another knot to make sure that it stays solid. I left my, my string a little bit longer. This hook is not helping at all. And this one's too thick, so they're always stuck in between, right? And of course, you would just fix it, make sure that you take out your markers. Um, I think it makes a beautiful little decoration for any little cute decorative towels for, for any place in your home, actually. But I would say mostly the kitchen. I would also, I will leave also the link below to the owls that you guys might want to create for some of you that missed out on the owl. Okay, so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I will see you in the next tutorial. I hope you guys like this little strawberry. I'll let, um, I'll mark down the measurements. So this is 13. by 26 centimeters okay so thank you so much again please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video and god bless every single one of you thank you everyone until next time bye bye <laughs>